That's right. Thanks, Anita. If your brakes are talking to you, you may want to listen. That grinding or squeaking noise you hear when you step on the brakes could be the sign of some real trouble. And our auto guy is here to make sure you put the brakes on any problems and stay safe. Good morning. Thanks for being morning, here, Brian. Man. Nice Happy to have to you be here. here. Great to be here. All right. Now, this is the most dramatic thing that you showed me when we sat here. These are the bad brakes. Talk about what differences you can see between actually, bad and good. This is actually a rotor that's been damaged by somebody that drove until it went through the rotor, cut into the rotor. And as you can see, um, this is a new rotor here wow. and the difference to them. Yeah. So do you think these people could have heard that long before? A long, that, that's me going, hmm, maybe there's yeah, something there's wrong something for about three months. There's something wrong here, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Um, so th what we want to talk about is how we can prevent this from happening, because obviously when it gets to this point, mm -hmm. the damage is done, and it's quite a bit more expensive than if you would have caught it long before. So tell us a little bit about the damage. So it's not just your brakes that are then now needing to be replaced, but also this rotor then that needs to be replaced. Correct. The rotor and any hardware often that goes along with it because it gets damaged from the heat when you go metal to metal. So the cost, it can affect calipers, um, which are actually the hydraulic component that compress the brake pads to stop the vehicle. Um, the heat, when you go metal to metal, can damage a lot of components, can make it a lot more costly. So it's not like we're talking either hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars. Thousands if you... sometimes if you neglect it far enough to like this vehicle did here. Absolutely. And one of the things that we want to touch on this morning is that it's very important for um, your service facility to be actually checking your brakes on a regular basis. Okay. How and often should they do it? We actually check brakes at our facility every time a customer comes in for an oil change. Okay. But every other oil change works just fine also. At roughly every six to 8,000 miles in, in that area, you need to have your brakes checked. Okay. Um, brake pads can fail. As you can see, here are some worn out brake pads, and there's actually material coming off of these pads. They've gotten real close, and they're starting to wear out. Because this is the ugly side most of us don't want to see, but I mean, your safety is really at risk. When you get to this level of wear and tear, that's a problem. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's why if the brake pads are caught soon enough, obviously these brake pads did not go metal to metal. They started to come apart. Mm -hmm. Then you can prevent this, and often the rotors can be resurfaced and not replaced. Okay, so big so savings. Big savings. Um, your service provider should be providing you with actually, and this is a measuring tool here that we use to measure the thickness of pads between the rotor okay. every time a vehicle is serviced. Um, Brake pads should be replaced when they have between two to three millimeters life left on them. Okay. If your service provider is giving you percentages, ask them to actually measure the brakes for you. This is a true reading. Percentages vary from one person to another. All right, here's some important information on our screen for people. So the main thing is check, your, check those brakes regularly. Correct. And then damaged brakes could break more important p components that we talked about, creating thousands of dollars worth of damage. Absolutely, absolutely. And then this is the thing that you were talking about here with these measurement sticks, is that I don't think most people do that. You ask them to tell you what the measurement is, don't count on what they're saying Co as. Correct. In every vehicle that we service and a, and a lot of facilities do, these measurements are actually put on your paperwork so that you know exactly what the measurement is. Um, and that way, everybody's on the same page. You know when your brakes should or shouldn't be replaced. Uh, brake pads, between two to three millimeters life left. Uh, uh, brake shoes, between one to two millimeters life left. Okay, because I think as consumers, we're not usually that prying or that, that, that we don't take that kind of care. So that's important correct. information there for people to know that we don't necessarily take the guy's word that's looking at the car. Correct, correct. Yeah, you should ask for measurements on brakes before they're replaced, absolutely. All right, well, really quickly here, just show people what good brakes look like. Well, we have some real high quality brakes. Um, these are actually brakes for a German car that produce less dust so they don't get on the, on the uh, wheels and rims. Um, and then uh, we have some uh, OEM uh, quality pads, which are OEM stands for Original Equipment Replacement. They're better specification or the same specification that came on your vehicle, which is very important for your family's safety, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, there are cheaper versions of brake pads out there when you see the the uh, um, low-cost brake jobs, it's usually not high-quality parts they're using, and it's very important, obviously, that you put something that the manufacturer specified on the vehicle or better for your family's safety. All right. Great advice. Thanks so much, Brian, for no being problem. with us. Have you always make us feel a little bit better about knowing when our car needs a little tune-up. For more information, just log on our website at fox6.com.